Ever since the creation of Vim in 1992 by Bram Molinar, there have been countless attempts at packaging up Vim with configurations and libraries to give it a little more polish. For me personally, I remember using the Janus Vim distribution when I initially got into Vim about 10 years ago. Lately, with the emergence of NeoVim and fancy new Lua-based libraries, NeoVim distributions have gotten more and more interesting. I personally don't use a Vim distribution, but I am curious about them. I guess you would say I'm distro curious. There are, however, a a lot of distributions out there. So in this video, I want to evaluate the four most popular distributions, namely AstroVim, Lunar, NVChad, and LazyVim. Now for each distro, I'm going to use a very scientific rating and evaluation system where I cover four main criteria. Number one, the general installation process. What is the overall impression of the installation? Is it nice and simple command line that copies a GitHub repo to your config NeoVim directory? Or is it something more involved than that? Number two, finding and figuring out commands. How easy is it to find or figure out the key bindings and commands of this distribution. Number three, LSP on a JavaScript file. How quickly can I get LSP functionality working on a JavaScript file that I have? I'll be using the same JavaScript file and doing the same functionality. Can the distro do what it's supposed to do with LSPs? And number four, extending the config by adding a custom plugin. I have some favorite plugins I want to install on any config. Does the distribution allow this to happen easily or are there workarounds slash special syntax? I will award points based on a hot dog scale. Each criteria criteria can be awarded a total of one hot dog. If a distro has four hot dogs, it's great. One or two hot dogs, eh, not so much. Now, before we get into the evaluations, I just wanna say one thing. These are all amazing pieces of work done by incredible people. And this is merely my personal take on each one. All of these distributions are great. And if you're interested, I highly suggest you try each and every one. They really are fantastic. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up is LunarVim. Now, I have to say, I have heard of LunarVim before, but I never really checked it out, so I'm excited to get into this one. The general installation process. LunarVim has the most unique installation process of all of these distributions. You copy and paste a command line that runs a bash command to install the distro. But the installation process has many steps, which feels sophisticated and stable overall. At the end, you have a new special command you run instead of just running nvim, which is a little odd. I guess you could just alias nvim to this new lvim command command, or you could put the dir in your path and run LVIM forever, whatever floats your boat. I give this step a half hot dog. Number two, finding and figuring out commands. LunarVim uses which key to display key bindings and commands. If you can guess the first letter of a command, it's pretty intuitive. I have no qualms here one hot dog. Next up, LSP on a JavaScript file. There's no surprise that the LSP works great here. LunarVim uses Mason and I don't see any issues getting the LSP to work correctly. We can see in the JavaScript file, we correctly use the LSP to do a code action and it's pretty good. One hot dog. And finally, extending the config by adding a custom plugin. Despite how heavy LunarVim feels when installing, when it comes to adding a new plugin to your config, it's actually really simple. There is a special config.lua file that Lazy will import automatically. So you can just paste to more lazy plugins here. Installing my favorite plugin, oil.nvim, was fairly straightforward. I just added a code snippet to my config.lua file, reload vim, and lazy automatically installs a plugin. Then it just kind of works the way I'd expect. One hot dog. Overall, I give lunar vim three and a half hot dogs. Pretty good. Next distribution on the list is astro vim. This is another one that I've heard of before, but never really looked into, so I'm excited to try this one out too. Let's start off with the general installation process. AstroVim has a really straightforward installation process. In their docs, you need to copy and paste a GitHub repo link in your command line. This installs the dot files on your machine in the typical NeoVim config directory. Then, when you open NeoVim after the installation, you will see Lazy install all the default plugins for the distro. Once that's complete, you see a couple pop-ups notifying you that the installation has been successful. Really nice and simple overall. One hot dog for installation, finding and figuring out commands. AstroVim uses which key to display key bindings and commands. If you can guess the first letter of a command, it's pretty intuitive, so I have no qualms here. One hot dog. LSP on a JavaScript file. The LSP in AstroVim works great. AstroVim uses Mason, and I don't see any issues getting the LSP to work correctly. I can easily perform the same LSP code action from the previous distribution, and it works pretty much the same. This is all great for me, so I give this one hot dog. Extending the config by adding a custom plugin. Astro has an interesting process for customizing your configuration. They suggest you copy a template repository to your GitHub account, then clone that repository to a special directory in your Astro config. This feels a little heavy-handed to me, but I 
get the idea. By making a new template repo, you have a consistent way to add your own plugins. And you can manage your own plugin configuration on top of Astro in your own repo. Pretty cool. I followed the instructions to create a new repository, but then I got lost and NeoVim sort of broke for me. I can chalk that up to an issue on my local environment and I won't blame Astro here, but since this tripped me up immediately, I'm going on first impressions, so I'll give this section zero hot dogs. Sorry. Overall, AstroVim was extremely simple to set up, had great default plugins, and was a breeze to work with. Installing a custom plugin seems difficult, but overall this distro is really great. I give it three hot dogs. Nice. Now it's time to move on to the sexy bad boy of the NeoVim distro world, NVChad. I remember when this distribution burst on the scene not long ago, amassing tons of GitHub stars and likes, so I'm excited to check this out. First off, general installation process. NVChad follows best practices and has a nice simple installation process. You clone a GitHub repo to your NeoVim config directory. Then when you start NeoVim, you see lazy installing a ton of packages. After, you're presented with a notes screen, which is nice, albeit a little demanding in tone. Jeez, NVChad, we get it. Overall, great experience. One hot dog. Finding and figuring out commands. NVChad also uses which key to display key bindings and commands. If you can guess the first letter of a command, it's pretty intuitive. No issues here. One hot dog. LSP on a JavaScript file. NVChad once again works like all the other distributions with LSPs, so I have no issues running the same code action on the same JavaScript file as I did in previous distros. This works great, so you guessed it, one hot dog. Extending the config by adding a custom plugin. This is where NVChad kind of loses me. They have a very special way of adding plugins to your configuration where you have to declare a local Lua table with a special name and a special file. This naming and file convention, in theory, will automatically be loaded by Lua and run. However, I had a tough time getting this to work and the docs weren't exactly crystal clear. I'm sure with a little patience this isn't a problem, but like I said, I'm going off first impressions here, so zero hot dogs. Please don't hurt me, Chad. Overall, NVChad is really great. The documentation is really nice, the installation is clean and simple, and the distribution has a great look and feel to it. It also has a great set of default plugins. Customizing your config, however, feels tedious and seems to have a bit of a learning curve. Overall, a really great distro, three hot dogs. Next up is LazyVim, which according to my scientific poll is everyone's favorite NeoVim distribution. It's also created by Folky, the original author of the Lazy.MVim plugin, so I'm excited to try it out. Let's get into it. General installation process. LazyVim has a nice, easy installation process. They follow the best practices and allow you to clone a repo in your config directory. Then you load NeoVim, and like other distros, you'll see Lazy load all the plugins. I feel like it would have been funny if the creator of Lazy used something like, I don't know, Packer to manage plugins, but either way, great installation. One hot dog. Finding and figuring out commands. LazyVim uses which key to display key bindings and commands. So you guessed it, this works great. It's really interesting. Intuitive, one hot dog. LSP on a JS file. Just like our other distributions, Lazy works flawlessly with JavaScript's TS server LSP. I can call the same code action on the same file as I did with other distros and get the same result. Nice stuff. One hot dog. Extending the config by adding a custom plugin. Lazy has by far the most straightforward path to adding new plugins. You merely have to create a Lua file in the user directory. This Lua file is automatically loaded by Lazy, so you just have to return a Lua table with any plugins you want to install. I was easily able to install and use my beloved oil.envim, no problem. This is great, one hot dog. Overall, Lazy is amazing and probably the best of the bunch. I gave it four hot dogs. As for the final tally, you can see all these distributions roughly have the same score. Some got a hot dog removed for having a rough edge here and there, but they're all amazing distributions. Also, every distribution comes with a great default config, including Lazy, Witch Key, Theme Switchers, Splash Pages, great LSP configs, and more. Honestly, you'd be happy using any of these distros. Or you could, you know, create your own NeoVim config from scratch. If you're interested in that, check out this video next. And hey, thanks nerds.